What's going on with y'all? This y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Cortez versus Rum Nitty. Man, 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 man. Um, I could be happy and mad at the same time because for one, like I said, Rum Nitty um puts down for the you know for the West Coast. He's from Arizona. Um, you know, that's like a another one of our cats, you know what I'm saying, from the West. And hey, we got Geechee Gotti and Rum Nitty. In the finals. Now, round one, Cortez chokes, man. It's, it was bad. It was bad. I got something to say on this. Cortez chokes, right? I'm kind of thinking it's going to kind of be like subpar for both. Rub Nitty comes in, man. Rub Nitty was wigging, bro. I low key felt if Cortez had his first round together, it won't be enough. Mm -mm. It won't. It won't gonna be enough. Nah. And everything that I'm gonna get to that after the I'm gonna get to that after the battle. Rum Nitty was wicked. Talking about he gonna leave it like he gonna leave a court he gonna leave court with a smile on his face like he gonna leave the courthouse with a smile on his face oh man that's that's bars bro rum nitty was wigging rum nitty was wigging I'm thinking rub I'm thinking rum nitty was gonna be subpar this this um this this battle because I guess the people that he was going against he couldn't really do what he do. But I will say his perform Rum Nitty performance against drugs was better than Sirius Jones. Cause Rum Nitty battle in a series like Rum Nitty round, that what that first round in a Sirius Jones battle was dope from him. But the last two rounds, I'm like, uh, you know what I mean? But then when he went against drugs, he got drugs up out of here. He just like he just he 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 killed drugs. He killed drugs. So, like I said, going into this battle, though, Rum Nitty was wigging in that first round, man. Cortez goes the second round. Chokes again. He trying to get it back. He trying to, of course, he tried to do his rebuttals then. He was trying to do his rebuttals with the with the KCJ thing and this and that. He tried to do his rebuttal. It didn't work. So then he go to the second round. Messed up again. Rum Nitty, once again, came wigging. Came wigging again. Came wigging again. And then next thing you know, I'm like, oh yeah, for sure. We got Gitchy Gotti and Rum Nitty up in the finals. EFB. You know they splitting. <laughs> you know they splitting. It's a wrap. So... The fact that Rum Nitty won this battle 3-0. Three Rum Nitty and Geechee is built for this. Rum Nitty and Geechee got it is built for this tournament, bro. They're built for this tournament. I don't care what nobody say. Yeah, we all, of course, you know what I'm saying, felt like um, Sirius Jones had ended up, you know, Getting run midi. Yeah, we all felt that way, man. And, you know, it's always something. Every time, like, when judging comes to play, people going to disagree. People going to say, you need new judges. People going to say this. People going to say that. People are just going to say certain things like that. You don't have to hear people saying anything like that if y'all don't get certain things together. You won't hear people mouth. It's that simple. But, me, honestly, though, I have... Um... Rum Nitty and Geechee probably giving a battle the best of solid. I feel like it would be a very solid battle. But it ain't going to be none all super crucial like that. I feel like 
Gigi would be even less uh, crazier to a run midi than he did with Swamp. You know, two years ago, he was doing Daniel double impact with run midi. He did a battle against run midi. Him and run midi already went against each other. So me, to be honest, I know that both individuals is talent. Is, is talented Gigi you you already know you you are my top five but and run midi to me you could probably be like the best puncher in battle rap hey forget that ain't no problem you cold you cold but my whole thing is though if I'm Gigi and I run midi hey why not why not basically go half on that bring that over here bring that over here Bring that over here. Bring that over here. Bring that over here. Uh-uh. Let me see this. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. You, 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 you. You're doing too much right now. Please do not press this button. Go play over there with it. Go over there with it. So, this, you know, so this is my thing. And this is like to uh, Cortez. Shouts out to Run Midi and shouts out to Geechee, bro. Shouts out to Run Midi and shouts out to Geechee. This is the thing, though. And like this is like where I'm actually like talking to uh, Cortez, man. I don't want to hear no, like me personally, I don't want to hear nothing about no Cortez versus Surf. If you, if you guys watch my other blogs, I said I don't really care for a Cortez versus Surf. Not because a lot of Surf fans and probably some people that's just fans of battle rap think that Cortez is trash. We all know Cortez is not trash. Cortez is a very, 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 very dope battler and he barely loses. Uh, Sue Surf, he's a solid um, battle rapper too. Of course, sometimes I can't stand his preparation and stuff like that. But other than that, when he's prepared, he's solid. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so tired of when you end up going like to the fan thing or whatever and people saying, oh, yeah, you definitely not going to get surf. First of all, Cortez don't need no surf. Cortez do not need to go against surf. If Cortez was to be surf, y'all to me, based, to me, y'all would look at Cortez the same way. Y'all would look at Cortez the same like, like the same damn way. Y'all would look at him the same way. I don't care what none of y'all say. Y'all will look at Cortez the same way. I like Cortez. So when Cortez be sitting here saying, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I got to go against uh, Calico. I got to go against Surf. You know, this and that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Swave Seven Head Ice kind of get this kind of get the similar type of treatment. And let, like and let me tell you why. Head ice, people don't think head ice, like certain people just kind of ignore head ice in a way and they probably feel like he can't do nothing because he's an older, older, older person. They kind of like look at Swave Server the same way. They look at it like, oh yeah, it's over, it's over for y'all. It's over for y'all, old head, this and that. You know, this ain't the, this ain't the, this ain't 2010. This not 2011. Y'all can't handle the new era. So... If you like look at Cortez, the Swave Sevens, the Head Ices, and even sometimes the Mad Hoffers, they look, they, they, they somewhat look at them like, you know, like they not nothing. But if you get in the ring with these dudes, they could beat you. But who don't know that? Who don't know that? Who don't know that? Swave Sevens said it when he lost against Prep, he was like, well, if we go to the fans' votes, why would they end up, you know what I'm saying, voting for me? They'd, they'd mess around and just end up voting for Prep. Because, you know, you already know. They look at Swave as the old head. Right? So if you go with Cortez, this is the thing, oh man. When Cortez won against Head Ice, everybody felt like Cortez won, won that battle. But they end up giving it the Head Ice. He goes against Head Ice again. Cortez goes against Head Ice again. He loses. Again. And from what I'm hearing is that he probably didn't even want to even win that battle. Because he would have just been... Locked as far as basically battling over there at KOTD. Right? Or maybe URL said if you went over there, you can't come over here. Whatever. So he lost against him twice. 
people like look at as far as like when you went against Rex. When you did, you know, when they had like the couch bullshit, you know, the couch thing and all that. And then on top of that, when you did go against uh, Rex, um, way before the, um, um, the uh, total slaughter thing, a lot of people said Rex won that battle. Then you go against a uh, Romniti. Romniti beat you the first time because you weren't prepared. Romniti, Romniti now beat you the second time because you weren't prepared. So it came to the part. So it came to the part where you probably like the only battle rapper right now, Cortez, to the point where you lost to three guys. You lost to Head Ice and Rex and Romniti twice, man. Twice. And I. I don't know Cort I don't know Cortez personally, but I can only really even give a conspiracy theory and things like that. I, I can only really do that and I can only really say as far as like what I think. But this is like what I think. I know he didn't I know you didn't feel good about the easy to block battle. You didn't do no like, I don't remember you doing no interviews or anything like that after that. I don't recall that, right? But this the thing though. <laughs> when that went down as far as like what you basically been up in this tournament I said maybe Cortez could get it but I looked at it like Cortez as far as rapping in two minutes it might be a problem he showed he showed to like when he went against official he showed me that that's not nothing to him. He went against Jack Boy Maine. A lot of people feel like Jack Boy Maine won that battle, but I feel like Cortez won that battle. He did like it was nothing. Then when he went against Run Nitty, it just kind of reminded me of everything that I just felt like of what Cortez couldn't do in them two minutes. Because even if he would have had his material, he would have lost against Run Nitty. Run Nitty was doing it smooth and fast. Cortez was saying stuff like, you know, yeah, I do the, I do the such and such, and then I run, I run, I run, I run, I run, and then I run, I run, I run, I run, I run. Romney was like, boom, 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 He was just, he was just, he like he was hitting Cortez left and right. To be honest with you, Cortez, you kind of just really just have to just chill. Like a head ice or like a suave sever and just really, really just go on about your business and just battle when you just feel like doing what you do. Because certain people would love to be up in a Cortez position. It's a lot of battle rappers that's under a Cortez. Don't get it messed up. But when you look at the suave seven head ices and even like the math hoppers. They do what they do, and then they go about like they do what they do, and then they go about their business. They passionate to me just as much as you, but you put yourself up in these positions to the point where yeah, man, I knew Cortez can do this. Oh yeah, you know I knew Cortez can do that. Sirius Jones, for instance, you know. We up in this era where these new fans, they don't care about no Cortez. They don't care about Sirius Jones. They don't care about Head Ice. They don't care about Swave Seller. Sometimes I feel like they don't even care about Mook. They don't care about these these older cats like that. They like the Run Nitties, the New Jersey Twerks. Um, who else? <laughs> um, the, the, I will say sometimes the Avs, the K-Shines. And, you know, K-Shine is real good with this type of era. So my whole thing is, though, man, is I just really, really hope whatever interview you did, I hope it's not like a, yeah, I lost, but y'all see how far I got. Stop playing with my name. Stop playing with me. I can understand that if you didn't go up in there and you didn't choke and you can't like and you didn't come up in there unprepared, but you did that. You did that, though. And at the end of the day, you got like a big old monster on your back. You got the whole world on your back. Why? Because after you lost to Easy, 
Now you just trying to put everything to the side. And then you just like, nah, heck no, nah, I'm winning this tournament. I'm winning this tournament. I'm winning this tournament. I'm winning this tournament. It's constantly in your head. You focus, but to the point where you can overwhelm yourself. You like it, it could come to the point where it could be overwhelming. You could over like work yourself to the point where it's hitting you to the point where you should have been up in a certain position to the point where you could have just been all the way up here. You could have been all the way up here to the point where you don't even have to even be up in no tournament. So when you go up in that tournament, your mind is kind of messing with you. You're trying your best to stay focused. But when you try too hard, sometimes you end up just you end up just not getting it. You're stressed out. You're trying to get things right. You're worried about what certain people are saying. You, like you're trying your best to get this rum nitty material down pack. And even at the fact that you already went against them it makes it even 10 times more harder to even prepare for to, to even prepare for rum nitty and it puts you up in a messed up situation that's why certain battlers that's a vet like you or that's maybe superstars or whatever they looking down on a tournament or they looking at the tournament like man please they put their all into the other people, the the younger battle rappers, the battle rappers that's dang near like on a come up. You got the Crucible, and to be honest with you, you got the Geechee guys, you got the New Jersey Torques, you got Rum Nitty, you got the Chesses, you got all of these, you got all of these cats here. So you have to come hard every time, and you now hit a situation to where you now battle for so long. Sometimes you might could sometimes just come just. A little solid, a little hard, because you battle so much and you're going against certain people that's already there hungry. So you put yourself up in these positions to the point where the moment you don't win, yeah, I knew Cortez wouldn't get it. Yeah, yeah, Cortez, he don't need to, he like, yeah, Cortez, he don't need to go against Surf. I don't want to hear that no more. I could care less about a Cortez versus Surf. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Cortez versus Surf. I don't want to see that battle, man. I don't want to see that. If they was the bucket, yeah, I'll watch. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. But I could care less about a Cortez versus Surf. Every time when Cortez lose, it's, oh, yeah, man, he not going to get Surf. Man, come on, bro. Come on, man. At least just say, man, I don't even like Cortez like that. He don't become prepared. And yeah, he do this and then he do that. I can understand that. But then when you said, but when y'all constantly put this persona when y'all constantly push this persona by like a Cortez versus Surf, come on, man. Like, get that up out of here. Get that up out of here. But to be honest with you, you just better off just like looking at the fans like, oh, yeah, man, you know, fans going to do what they do. But you can still go up in there and get your W's. But to be real with you, certain people, gonna, certain people they're going to throw you people like Ace I mean, And Ace I mean is like on a come up. So... They give you him. They're gonna give you like a drugs. I don't know if you want to get. No, you already want to get drugs. See, you know what I'm saying? See, that's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying though. You're not winning against a lot of these, like a lot of these dudes. So you getting like a calico or surf? It don't do nothing unless you really feel like you could beat them. Unless you feel like you have a certain type of material to the point where you could kill them, which I probably don't think so. What's the reason, bro? So if you want to get out there, man, and just battle, just get out there and just battle. Or just other than that, man, just chill back. Because when Swave Seva or like the Head Ices or the Math Hoffers don't get on certain cards, they just like, hey, it is what it is. Cortez is still out here saying, yeah, y'all going to stop playing with me. Y'all going to stop playing with my name, this and that. No. At least me, I, I'm not playing with your name because I know what you could do. So me, if I'm just like chilling, I'm laid back and I'm just and I'm a vet or whatever the case might be, I'm like, hey, the fans are gonna say what they say. It is what it is. But I'm but you know what this blog is ain't already like 20 minutes. I'm about to get off, but I just really, really had to say something on this. At the end of the day, Cortez, don't even put yourself up in these positions to the point where you want to be a part of certain tournaments. Don't be a part of these tournaments, man. Don't be a part of these tournaments. Don't do that. Don't be a part of these tournaments, bro. It's not, it's, it's, it's not the business, man. It's not the business. It's like, it's not the, it's not the business for you. 
And me, honestly, if you would have came like with a certain material, you would have been all right. If you wouldn't have choked, you would have been all right. And I would have been okay. Well, yeah, the Cortez was fired, but I, I got to get this battle, to, this battle to run nitty. But it ain't no, I got to not run nitty. You got this battle, clearly. So, shout out to Realm. Shout out to Geeky, man. Y'all made it, man. But this y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92 subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go on. Shouts out to Cortez, too, though, man. Shouts out to Cortez. I definitely, like, want to see you keep battling, of course. And, hey, don't be taking these battles, man, that you're not interested in. Take these battles that you want. And to be honest with you, I would like to see you and the Jada Knight win. I know a lot of people probably like, nah, I don't want to see that. But I would like to see that. I would like to see that. But this y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92 subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit them like buttons too. Alright, go on.